Hi everyone and welcome back to Thermodynamics 2 Tutorials with Maria. We're going to be solving a Brighton cycle with intercooling and reheat. Let's start by reading the problem that is given. So we have an ideal gas turbine that has two stages of compression and two stages of expansion. And the pressure ratio across each of the stages is 8. The inner condition for the first compressor are 20 degrees Celsius and 100 kPa. And the temperature at the unit of the second compressor is also 20 degrees Celsius. The temperature entering each of the turbine is 1100 degrees Celsius. And in order to optimize the thermal efficiency of the cycle, an area regenerator is installed at the exit of the second turbine. We are asked to find the work of the compressor and the turbine, and also to find the thermal efficiency of the cycle. This is how our process diagram looks like. And we're going to go right away and draw our TS diagram. We have the air going in at 1, and then it's going to go through the isentropic expansion of the first compressor. So we're going to go up in temperature with constant entropy. And then from 2 to 3, we're going through the intercooler. In the intercooler, we're going to go down in temperature. We're going to cool down the fluid with constant pressure. And we are told that the inland temperature for both of the compressors, so T1 and T3, are the same. So we know we're going to go back to 3. And we know this is going to be 20 degrees Celsius. Then from 3 to 4, we're going through another isentropic compression. So that's going to be 4. Then from 4 to 5, we're going through the regenerator. Let's recall what is a re regenerator. It is just a device where it's going to take the heat from one part of the cycle to give it to another part. In this case, we are taking the heat from the hot gases coming out from the second expansion. So in other words, we're taking the heat from the flow from 9 to 10 in order to give it to the flow from 4 to 5. So from 4 to 5, we're going to go up in temperature with a constant pressure. So it's going to be 5. And then from 5 to 6, we are adding heat in order to have a combustion process. So we're going to go up with constant pressure, so to 6. Then from 6 to 7, going, go, going through the isentropic expansion of the first turbine to 7. Then we're going through the reheat, so we're going up in temperature. And again, we are told that the inlet temperature of both turbines is the same, so it's going to be 1100. So it's going to be 8. Then from 8 to 9, we're going through the second isentropic expansion. And then from 9 to 10, we're going through the regenerator. In this case, we are going down in temperature with a constant pressure. To 10. And then from 10 to 1, we are still going to cool down the fluid back to state 1 at a constant pressure. Now let's start by writing the equation for the work of both um, compressor. So we're going to have the work of the compressor is going to be the work of the first compressor and the second one. So if we write this in terms of entropy, it's going to be H2 minus H1 plus H4 minus H3. If we write this in terms of entropy, of temperature, it's going to be Cp temperature 2 minus temperature 1 plus Cp temperature 4 minus temperature at 3. What we can see is that we have the same inlet uh, temperature. So temperature at 1 is equal equals a temperature at 3. And we also know it has the same compressor ratio. So we also know that temperature at 2 is equal a temperature at 4. So we can rewrite this equation as 2CPT2 minus T1. We have to find the temperature at 2, and we can use the isentropic equations to find it. So we can say that temperature at 2 over temperature at 1 is going to be, when this is constant entropy, it's going to be P2 over P1, K minus 1 over K. P2 over P1, we have the pressure ratio, so we know it's going to be pressure ratio K1 
over k. If we solve for the temperature at 2, we're going to find it's going to be T1, so 293 kelvins, times 8, the pressure ratio, times 1.4 minus 4, so that's going to be 0 0.4 over 1.4. And this is going to give us a temperature at 2 of 530 75 kelvins. Now we can go back to our question for the work of the compressor. And we're going to find it's going to be equal to 2 times 1.004 kilojoule per kilogram kelvins times T2 is going to be 530.75 minus T1, which is 293, minus 293. These were our only kelvins. And then we're going to find the work of the compressor of 477.4 kilojoule per kilogram. Now let's write the equation for the work of the turbine, and we can use the same logic. So the work of the bus turbine is going to be in terms of entropy, it's going to be H6 minus H7 plus H8 minus H9. In terms of temperature, it's going to be Cp temperature 6 minus temperature 7 plus Cp temperature at 8 minus temperature 9. We know that we have the same inner temperature, so we know that, that T6 is equal to T8, and we have the same compression ratio, so it's basically the same turbine, so the temperature at 7 is equal to temperature 9. So we can rewrite this as 2 Cp temperature 6 minus temperature at 7. Temperature at 6 is given, and uh, to find the temperature at 7, we can use the it's a tropic equation, so if we write it, it's going to be T7 over T6 when we have a constant entropy, it's equal to pressure at 7 over pressure at 6, K minus 1 over K, and this is going to be equal to 1 over the, the ratio because we are expanding. So we know that pressure at 7 it's going to be lower than the pressure at 6. We can sum now for temperature at 7. It's going to be temperature at 6, which is 1,373 kelvins times 1 over 8, 1 1.4 minus 1, 0 0.4 over 1.4. And it's going to be equals to 157 six Kelvin. Now we can go back to our work turbine equation and just plug in the numbers. It's going to be 2 times 1.004 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin times the temperature at 6, which is 1,373 minus 757.96 Kelvin. And we're going to find a turbine work of 135 kilojoule per kilogram. So now let's write the equation for the thermal efficiency. So we know it's going to be equal to the work net over the heat input. So it's going to be the work of the turbine minus the work of the compressor over the heat in. We need to find the heat in. So it's going to be the heat in in the combustion chamber plus the heat in in the reheat. If we write this in ter terms of entropies, we know it's going to be H6 minus H5 plus H8 minus H7. Where and if we write this in terms of temperatures, it's going to be equal to 2 Cp temperature 6 minus temperature at 5. If we pu plug in the numbers, it's going to be 2 times 0, 0 0.4 kilojoule per kilogram kelvins. Temperature at 6 is given is 1373 minus temperature at 5 or temperature at 7. It's 757.96, all of this in kelvins. And we're going to find a heat input of 1235 kilojoule per kilogram. So it's the same as the work of the turbine. If we go back to our thermal equation 
thermal efficiency equation and plug in the numbers, it's going to be equal to 1235 minus 477.4 over 1235, and we're going to find a thermal efficiency of 61.3%.